Electromagnetism powers literally everything around us. Our dishwashers, internet, and even cars are all being powered by the electromagnetic force. It is one of the four fundamental forces of the universe, so yeah, a pretty big deal. As the name suggests, electromagnetism combines the concepts of electricity and magnetism because some very smart people figured out that they are actually connected with each other in the 19th century. Magnetism is simple, opposites attract and like to repel. Everybody has prob probably seen this with magnets. As you push a north pole towards a south pole, they will attract. But if you push a north pole towards another north pole, they will repel. Every single magnet produces a magnetic force that attracts or repels other magnets. The region that their magnetic force affects is called a magnetic field, which usually goes from north to south. The needle in our compasses will always point towards the direction of the magnetic field. For example, the Earth is actually a gigantic magnet due to the liquid iron in its core, oriented like this. As I draw the magnetic flux lines, which indicates its magnetic field, we can see the reason why our compasses will always point up and towards the northern hemisphere. Therefore, the geographical location on Earth, which we call the North Pole, is actually the south pole of Earth's mag gigantic magnetic field. Our magnetic field is also preventing us from being fried by the sun because it repels the solar winds away and filters out most of the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. Now, electricity is one of the most useful forms of energy since it can be converted into light, heat, mechanical energy, and so on. Instead of having two poles producing a magnetic force, electricity uses moving charged particles to create electric force. Atoms can either gain or lose electrons, which makes them negatively or positively charged respectively. The presence and movement of those charged particles create electricity. For example, take lightning. Lightning is caused by a type of electricity called static electricity. The water droplets and ice crystals inside clouds rub against each other, which makes them either positively charged or negatively charged. Then, the negatively charged particles sink to the base of the cloud as they are heavier, and the positively charged particles rise to the top. Going back to the concept of opposites attract, the negatively charged water droplets will attract the positive charges back on the ground. When the attraction force between the water droplets and the ground is strong enough, lightning, which is a very strong electric force, will be unleashed. Sure, both of them follow the opposites attract and light through power rule, but how are they actually connected? Put simply, an electric current running through a wire produces a magnetic field, and vice versa. A change in magnetic field, called a magnetic flux, produces an electric current. This concept revolutionized modern technology as we learn how to create electric generators based on this principle. Let's take river dams for example, which is just a very big generator. In simplest terms, river dams create electricity by spinning magnets using the power of water. When the water pushes the magnet to rotate, it will create different magnetic fields. By creating a magnetic flux, the spinning magnet will create current in a coil of wire raising its changing magnetic field. As we can see from the simulation, as the water moves the magnet, it creates the difference of magnetic fields, which is the magnetic flux, and the magnetic flux is responsible for sending a current in the wire next to it. This change in current direction is what power with this light bulb, or any electronic. We call it an AC current which stands for an alternating current. And AC currents power nearly any appliance you can think of. Realistically, the direction of the current changes so fast that we don't even see the light bulb flicker. We just perceive it as a constant light source. In the end, by combining magnets, electricity, and a bunch of smart people from the 19th century, we are able to turn one of the four fundamental forces of the universe into a powerful energy source. Opposites attract and likes repel is actually a pretty big deal.